Hello, chess lovers. Soren here, and I have a mind blowing game for you played by Nigel Short against Richard Miles. The game was played in 1976 in London. Nigel shorted white pieces and he started with e4, d6 by Miles, d4, knight f6, knight c3, we see the pierce defense, g6, black goes for mainline, now white has several options, either to play f4 for example, go for Austrian attack or knight f3, classical 2 knight system, or even play f3, bishop e3, queen d2, and then castle queenside, but in the game we see bishop c4, bishop g7, queen e2, knight c6, and after e5 we are going to see mind-blowing complications. White is allowing knight takes d4, now the queen on e2 square is under attack, but in this position Nigel short captured on f6. Allowing knight takes e2, f takes g7, the rook on a8 is hanging, black saves his rook by playing rook g8, knight takes e2, rook takes g7, bishop h6, white is developing the bishop with a tempo and then castling queenside. A very impressive queen sacrifice, but of course I have to mention that this is a theory. With two pawns and a queen for three minor pieces, black has a substantial chart edge. Computers give black advantage, yet from practical point of view, playing with the white pieces turns out to be easier. Right now black's pawns get in the way of his heavy pieces, black king is still stuck in the center of the board, while white has already developed all the pieces, has already already cancelled queenside and is ready to organize a quick attack. Let's see how Nigel Short proceeded with the attack. e6 was played while well, actually playing g5 and threatening rook g6, trapping the bishop would have been better, though white can play h4, g takes h4, rook takes h4, and then c6 not allow any knight d5 moves and then prepare e5 would have been better for black instead after castling queenside we see e6 h4 bishop d7 knight e4 f6 black wants to place the king on f7 square here comes the knight knight f4 Gradually, white pieces are getting more and more active, king f7, rook e1, already there is a very dangerous bishop takes e6 threat, just a random move if b5, then white can capture on e6, and then after the exchange on e6, play knight takes d6, discover check, and then knight e8, and then rook is coming, and then white can win the queen, this is simply crushing, black has no chance to survive. That's why after rook e1 black played rook e8 over protecting the pawn on e6 square. Here comes the g pawn, g4 trying to rip open black's king side. a5, a3, freeing this a2 square for the bishop, b5, bishop a2, rook e7, and here we go, g5. f5, black tries to keep close to the king side, but now the knight jumps on f6 square, threatening knight takes d7, remove the guard and capture on e6, at the same time eyeballing on the pawn on h7, bishop c8, and simply knight takes h7, c5, h5, g takes h5, g6 check, white minor pieces are simply dominating the position, king g8, knight f6 check, king h8, knight takes e6, and Richard Miles resigned, already there is a very nasty g7 threat, if bishop takes e6 then rook takes e6, black can't capture on e6 because of this g7 checkmate, and if a move like c4 for example, the second rook is coming, this is just a total destruction, that's why after knight takes e6, black resigned. A very impressive game, I think, though that queen sacrifice was a theory, but the way Nigel Short managed to organize his attack in the middle game and finish up his opponent was just spectacular. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, and also for more games, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Good luck.